Hello, how are you? It's Chin. Again, this is Qigong day, and uh, we're gonna go into how to put practice Qigong together with the warm up. So, so this is a contemporary Qigong developed by me. We're gonna go into the third set called the Fortified Energy or Fortified Qi. So we're gonna do the basic Qigong warm up. Start right now and goes into so. I also, I'm going to put an end card for you to show you how to learn the fortified Qigong breaking down. But right now I'm just going to go right through it, how it does. Again, um, the fortified Qigong can also done, all the Qigong that developed by me, you can also done in distance travel. So you never get bored. But since this room is small, I'm just going to do the stationary and Stationary, you can, you know, lunging but not taking into the distance. Okay, here we go. You ready? Nice and tall, engage your domino, you find the five checkpoints. So your head is suspended from butt. Here we go. We're gonna start a little bit. Release the joint first. So you don't want that range motion which is come from the joint. That's tightness. So I use the forearm to shake the wrist and finger. Use the upper arm, your humerus. Release the forearm and hands. Now I'm going to scaffold. Now I use the leg. So like you're sitting in the car, riding through the bumpy road, right? And goes to the right and the left. Hmm. Let go of any tension. You are gently wake up the body, no hopping, okay? Hopping makes it more tense. Especially if you're hypermobile, your head starts popping. It just creates a headache right away. So I'm kind of keep my head in place and follow the spine, the rest of the spine to move. Okay, second warm up, we're gonna rotate. Nice and easy, right? We say, don't hit yourself. Just let the hand landing wherever you want, a little lower, a little higher. The idea is rotating. I'm rotating, getting on this nice spiral movement, waking up. So this is the first swing we have, the second one, we we'll call the sagittal movement with front and back, hollow your tummy. So I use my leg, hollow tummy, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. A nice opening that lower back, the tightest portion of your spine. So I use my tummy, lift up, open that lower back. Hollow your tummy, lift up, open. Two more times. And last one. Up, circle the arm around, ready? we we'll open leg a little bit. Another swing with pendulum movement. So frontal movement, you can rotate the torso. If I keep my arm here, you see? I'm not shifting the weight, okay? So, and rotate it, uh, rib cage. I drop suspend, one more. Drop suspend, ready, circle. Use the body, one, and two, and three, and four, stay, five. Arch your foot lifted, so on that three point, circle the arm, the fourth one in the circle arm, two, and three, circle four, all one, and two, and three, circle four, again, one more set, and two, and three, circle the arm, wake up that most free joint, now glean no human joint, shoulder joint, ready, circle coming up, Release down, bring your leg in, back into that five chair point. We're gonna warm up the biggest joint in your, is a hip socket. So I'm using the abdominal, I'm using the pelvis to circle around, tiny little circle. It's like a merry-go-round again, so like smaller merry-go-round, or the teacup, right, in the amusement park. Okay, you ready? The other way. So it's right here, you put your hands on the side of your hip. You can feel the head of the femur goes in that acetabian cup, right, the hip socket. Ah, oh, you warm that up. Okay, now moving down, put your leg together, I turn a little bit, so you circle the knee. Okay, so your back is straight, your head is in line sign, so you're not doing this, okay? So good posture, right? And shows your, shows your, useful age and reverse. 
Ah, so it stimulated the knee and the ankle joint because they connect by the tibia and fibula. Okay, stand up. Ready? When a reflex kick. So out in. Four and the eight time. Six and the seven. Eight. Sa and two. Return and four. I'll return. I'll return. Seven. Eight. Diagonal. Back. Two. Three and four. Nice and easy. Six. Seven and the eight. So softening up that knee joint. Three. Four to the side. Four time also. Three and the four to the back, which is diagonal. Three, four. Now two each. One, two, and the side. And the go. So you say you can feel that landing toe bar heel. Now the heel. And good. You ready? I'm gonna step forward, step back. I'm moving down now to the ankle and toes, right? So up over on the big toe. Then this need to help you stretch the ankle. So I'm stretching the top, big toe first. Stretch the underside of your foot. The top side, dorsal part, and the plantar part. And dorsal, and the plantar. Now, four toes, you go, ooh, that feels so good. And go. So you kind of sickle the ankle a little bit. Three. Last one, four. So you ready? You're gonna circle the ankle. You lubricate that beautiful, right? Portion the whole foot from the ankle to your toes. That's why we love exercise without shoes, but if you have shoes, okay, okay? And when you go outside, you almost have to have shoes. That's why I like to use the, I wear the five vibrant toe shoes, very soft one. So ready? Giant step back, nice and tall. Up over big toe, one. And you're heading along the spine. So don't start going right. Don't change the posture. And engage your abdominal first responder. And the four toes. Go. Slightly sickle the ankle. Two. See where my arm is? Thumbs point forward. So not here. Right? Beautiful form. Now ready? Balance and circle the ankle. And reverse the direction. Circle the ankle. Ah. <sighs> look forever far. I love this room because uh, I, I paint the every inches like four coats, four different coats. And every time I look over, I see my daughter's kindergarten painting of me and her, except she changed our eyes blue. <laughs> Kids, right? They're so cute. Oh, I have big long eyelash. Okay, so ready? Now that's all set. You loosen up the joint. You're gonna talk to the muscle. So muscle and joint is one creates movement just like yin and yang symbol inhale exhale one let's start the distal so my palm first two finger and palm open up so the energy can flow through and go bench elbow you ready so from here bench elbow rotate the shoulder joint rotate the form so pronate the form come up we're not doing this okay we just bring the arm up so we can get the armpit to open up a little bit okay so you wiggle out a little bit, like waking out the body. Ah, if you have the yarn, it's good. <clears throat> so you're warming up, you actually softly release all the tension. <clears throat> That's what yarn is doing when you're morning. Inhale, because you were stiff all night, so you wake up, you go, oh, wake up the body, right? So we can do it this way, inhale. I'm gonna twist the ankle and knee, my pelvis, the whole spine. Release a little bit. Now increase the twist two inch and release one inch. Last one, increase two inch spiral up, 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 and come back to center. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, twist one. Don't go all the way yet. And then you increase a little more, two. Be kind to your body. And exhale, three, so spiral back to center. Bend your elbow, rotate the elbow, so it's in the joint. And I clean the human's joint. Okay, another movement. So we wake up the spine nice and gently. Direct this side. So the whole right side this is my right side. Give me a stretch. Return. Three times. Two. To make sure your shoulders down. Exhale. Three. Now, waking up the external obliques here. On the right side, rotate. Your nose lined up the left big toe. Contract five, four, three, two, one. I turn a little bit. You can see. Contract five, four, three, two, one. So I'm using that lower arrow, working with the upper 
Now contract the left external rotate you right back to side. So if I face you see, I came right back to the side. I'm gonna use the gravity. Ah, oh, help me stretch one. So we kind of surrender a little bit to it. But you have three arc. One here, one here, one is your spine. So center line. Exhale, go. Oh, whoa. Good job. Let me turn. Wake up the body again. One. This time wake up the left side. It's my left side. Nice and gently. And go. Contract the left external big face down. Inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. So if you have followed me for a while, you know there's a two arrow in the front. Uh, consists right lower, right? So it's because internal obliques form five portion of your rectus abdomini goes up to the six pack and the external big. So the, uh, that's upper arrow. Contract the right side, rotate right back. And release one, two, and three, coming back. Now rotate the shoulder joints, so your elbows going forward, you're melting down. You know, if you, if you grow up with those lava lamps, you're gonna, your body kind of like that lava. So the beauty about the Qigong and Tai Chi Chuan, that's the fascia release nicely, right? Feels so good, it's like you just give yourself a nice massage. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is a really good every morning wake up stretch, gentle to your body, okay? So now next thing we're gonna work on the scapula. Has six movements, we're gonna do the first four. Elevate, when you depress, you're reaching down, see my middle finger to the ankle, contract five, four, three, two, one. So I'm gonna scoop it up a little bit, inhale, Exhale, so this is the basic Qigong warm up. The idea is soften the body and uh, open the spine, talk to the spine. Last one here, inhale, elevate. Exhale, you depress the scapula, it's going down. So the upper trap, right, the, uh, the lower trap actually, the upper V, slide down. Now protract, open the chest, standing tall, but don't pop the ribcage because you're moving the scapula only. So I'm not doing Okay, that's too harsh. So inhale, it's like, ah, oh, you're hugging your cat or your doggy or your baby. And then nice caress and open. So around the scapula, pull the scapula to open. Again, inhale last time. Exhale, you push down, ready. Put together, inhale forward up. Exhale, can you see my thumbs point forward the whole time? If I just bend all my finger, you can see. Exhale, my thumb forward. So I'm not moving, I'm not moving my arm. My arm listen to the scapula, and my spine also listen to the scapula. So right now, the scapula leading everything. Scapula said, hi everybody, I'm the leader today. You guys listen, follow me. Melting every joint, inhale. Of the spine, so important, waking up. So you're helping the spinal fluid, right? Cerebral spinal fluid, fluid, and moving softly. Okay, you ready? One side, I'm gonna face you. I'm gonna protract, elevate, retract, and release. So this is my east side, my right. Left scapula, so let's call it unilateral. One side at a time, you create a spiral. That's what Qigong really needs. You're going to the most beautiful nature's movement, right? You see this, even the snow come down, it flows down. And some flows, if, it's, if the flakes are really big, they spiral, you can see it. And release. The leaf coming off the tree too, and spiral down, they go down. Right, last one, inhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, let's reverse that, right? So you're gonna back up, forward down, and back up, and forward down, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale. So everybody has a job. They work together as a union. Last one, back up. And return down, you wiggle out a little bit. Okay, you have another movement. 
you're working scapa is another two movement called upper rotate downward rotate okay so now i'm going to turn around so you can see a little better i'm going to bend my right elbow elbows up the scapa is up rotate so the point is going side <coughs> The upper rotation of the scapa happen when you reach arm up. Above your shoulder height, you will see now we're just warming up. So I massage that shoulder joint called a plano humerus joint. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna release my arm, can you see? When I release, there's a rotation. So now we're gonna study the joint, the humerus movement. I'm going open, you immediately rotate the shoulder joint comes down. So I'm pointing forward with my finger. So I'm pointing forward. I'm pointing to the star. I'm pointing back, which is diagonally, and return. So all of that movement in that glenoid hum shoulder joint, right, has flexion, medial rotation, abduction, medial rotate, come back. You come out slightly laterally, rotate first. You change to medial rotate, coming back, bend your elbow reverse. So going back to extension, you laterally rotate, elbow forward, return. And exhale, so your legs and wishes your head, your head suspend from above. Nice massage, and then now reverse, reaching back first, slide the scapula down, which is upper rotate, laterally rotate, in the shoulder joint, point forward. There's so many detail happening, okay? So as I said, during this COVID-19, it's, it's going too long, right? It might still go into the summer this year, this 2021. Inhale, it's still January 2021. So the virus are so smart, they start mutates a little bit. The, the, the sad thing is a human, we're getting weaker because we don't eat well, we don't we don't breathe well, we don't exercise, so we're easy to be knocked down. So the best what? The best vaccine, everybody want vaccine right now, which is very, very important. And a lot of time it's not your turn because you're younger. And so the most important thing, the best vaccine is your immune system. So how do you charge up the immune system? It's by practice breathing, nutrition, proper exercise. So you don't wear off the joint. Inhale, exhale. And so I just reversed the right, same thing, instead the left arm. And exhale, so release your arm, reaching back, scalp up, upper rotate, your lateral rotating the shoulder joint, and return. Get to know your body. It's only one body. You're going to have this one life, right? I'm, I'm still working on my book, and so second proofread. And going, it's gotta be really careful. When it goes out, you can fix it. And good, just like your body, right? You gotta make sure everything right. So something happened. You say, I am strong, right? Trust, trust your body. It just doesn't trust. You have to do something to it. You have to do something, take good care. So Qigong is wonderful. I call it meaningful movement or meaningful exercise because every little thing you do has a meaning, goes into it, okay? So here we go. You ready? We just finished this relationship, the scapula and the hum humerus. So that's a glino humerus joint. Now we're gonna go to the forearm and your hands. Toes, you're gonna go to horse stance right away. So I'll turn a little bit. So you can see my knees bend slightly, your ankle to flex, there's a flex, flex, flex. Those three sections of your leg is flexed. There's a lot of three. Three section, one, two, three, spine, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, three. Just like the yin yang symbol, there's three meaning to it. So ready, engage your down or what's the name called Trinity. Inhale, exhale, one. Extend the finger two and three. Keep that horse stand four and five. If this is really hard, you can sit down on the chair, but the torso is still beautiful, nice and tall. And two more and last one. Now squeeze the boxing gloves. So create a little bit of resistance. Scalp us down and three. So your neck is really long. You can wiggle your head and feel ah, nice and free. 
beautiful spine, not locking, not tight. Last one. Here we go. Shake it out. Ready? Inhale. The counting, I talk a lot, so counting might be wrong. Don't worry, just forgive me. And inhale, exhale, because there's so many detail goes into it. So right now, I AB dog my humerus, my arm. I extend my fingers, stretch it out. Let's do four more. Three, exhale, two, and exhale, one. Okay, shake it out. You stand up, so you go, oh my God, horse dance is hard. That's, that's me, you have to do more until someday it's not hard, okay? Engage your arm, just like learning language, right? Not easy to learn Chinese or English or German, whatever. If you don't practice, you will never speak to that person going that country to speak. So ready? Here we go. Inhale, finger interlace, hands, finger. So first inhale, hand claps, and exhale, finger into the stop the left hand first, left, and the left. So the left, right, and the left, right. Left, right, and the left. Okay, ready, right side. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. You ready, other side. Inhale, exhale, so left hand leading. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Okay, great, shake out. So next one, we'll call it eagle clawing. So phalanges, you have 14 of them, okay? So those join. You're gonna feel like you can, okay, imagine either eagle catch a rabbit, if you, if you love animal, you just think about open a really tight jar, okay? So exhale, one. So we spiral a little bit, two. Nice and tall, three. Exhale, four, and the five, and the six. You head suspend from above, seven, and the eight, and the nine. Last one, ten, and we turn, you shake it up. Okay, you ready? We're gonna count finger in a very peculiar way. Either we're gonna follow the meridian and a little funny way of the Chinese way chunky, counting. So little finger uh, is where the heart and small intestine meridian goes to. So we use the one, two, right? Peace, right? Two, oh, bunny here. Exhale this way, O, oh, O oh is right here. K is the three finger. Four, five, six, Chinese six, right? And the seven, seven, eight, and the nine, only the little finger expanding, zero. Again, one, a uh, two, three and the four facing you five and six and seven and eight and nine and zero so i do a little bit wave so i send the energy out two three nice and flow five and six seven and the eight and the nine and zero one more time one a two three and the four and five, you feel this, you feel it, right? Seven and eight and the nine and zero. Why do you feel this? Oh, the forearm, right? Every single muscle go to your finger is come from your forearm. It's better than lift the dumbbell. <laughs> okay, now we're like more like a human. Here you go. You meet your rotating shoulder joint, so that's come from the arm. So my arm, the rotator cuff does medial rotate, laterally rotate. So there's four rotator cuff muscle knots working. I'm going to stabilize my scapula now. So there's always a stability and mobility. So we do a really slow breathing. So in, in, inhale, exhale, swim away. So you pretend like an octopus. Your fingers like the tentacles, no bones. Inhale, that's the head of an octopus. Swim away. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Now on the land, do slow motion, you grab, right? you grab, grab something and inhale, exhale. Slowly inhale, exhale and exhale. 
Inhale, exhale, and exhale. If you're ready, let's do one more. We're gonna speed up, so we don't do fast right now. So inhale is a full one, exhale is one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, four, five, two, three, six, seven, two, three, eight. Nine, ten, so three times. Oh my goodness, can you feel them? Oh, it's really good for, right? Musician, chef, hairdresser, anybody use your hands. Gardener, right? Computer, who doesn't use hands? Everybody. So, right? So, start practices. Exhale, one. Swim away, two. Media rotate the shoulder joint laterally rotates three. Hollow your tummy four. And the five. So this is wonderful. It's like arthritis prevention. Or right, if you have arthritis, start doing them. So you get a blood circulation going. I always tell my clients say arthritis where the autoimmune system attacking you. So you say, okay, I can feel it. Oh, you give me a little pain, you're coming. You visit for one, two days, but don't drop your luggage. You are leaving, okay? We don't want you to stay. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, one. Right? It's not a good guess. Two, inhale, exhale, three. And the four. And five. And six. And the seven. And the eight. So you ready? Inhales, one. Exhales, one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, two times, two. Inhales two, exhales two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guess what? Even more, three times. One, two, three, two. Five, two, three, six. Seven, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, can you feel all that? Ooh, that's our sequence of the arm, forearm, and your hand exercise because we use it so much, or we don't use it, right? Here you go. <sighs> nice and tall, you ready? We're gonna go to the meridian tapping, okay? But usually you can tap in with the fingertip or the hands, nice gentle on the palms, already. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So gallbladder and bladder meridian on the back too, occipital, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, gentle cheek. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Cross your arm. Find the shoulder nice and gentle. Now inside arm, the in channel. Other side, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. This is a Chinese fam famous rhythm, right? You go dong dong chum, dong dong chum. I go dong 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 chum. The lion dancing dong chum. One two three, one two three four, one two three four, one two three. The rib cage. One two three, one two three four, one two three four, one. Okay, you ready? Below the belly button. One two three, one two three four, one two. I'm going to turn around, go to the kidney. Hip. And the tush. Okay, ready? Outside the left leg going down. One, two, three. Lightly rotate leg, inside leg coming up. Outside leg going down. Inside leg coming up. And bring the right arm up, the side of the body. 
God bless the meridian going down. Feels good. Now smooth out. You just stimulate them. Awake, awake. I'm awake. And going down. Inside, come to your chest. Okay, hello. Let's wake up. And let's have a nice smooth day. Coming back up one more time. We love three and go. So we do that three times from the kidney, stroke down inside the arch, the in channel and the in meridian comes up. Okay, triple burner, so called triple energizer. Sun in jiao, right? So you have your chest inside the thoracic spine above the diaphragm. Is what? The rib cage has your what? Lung and your heart, the most important, most vital internal organ, oxygen. So the blood delivers the oxygen to every single cell. So you're gonna stop. Now, so those three energizers, three plates give you energy. Now your stomach, full, right? So eat good food, so give you good energy, right? Healthy, healthy, not processed, not junk food, no sugar, ah, lamb. Very little, little, little fried food. Here we go. Now you have elimination, right? So the waste have to go out just like the, we got what? Garbage truck come every week. We collect our garbage inside the house and put in the garbage can outside in the city, thank God. So sanitary system, <laughs> very important. Especially now with the COVID, right? So, ah, right? Stay, has a little bit of hygiene awareness, right? Washing hands. No one should tell us, would tell us to wash your hands. I hope you learned that when you were like two. Washing him before you eat, washing him before you play piano, washing him before you touch the computer, you know, because your hand carries a lot of stuff, right? Blow your nose, try to learn lots of things. Anyway, and uh, so it's part of your life. You don't, you don't need to be told. Clean up your environment. The climate change is important. The most important climate is your house or your dorm or your apartment, wherever you live, your car. Make sure they're nice and clean. That's your environment. And if you can do that, then you start cleaning up our beautiful earth. No, don't pollute, okay? Don't throw trash everywhere. Learning how to take care of all of them. Recycle, all this stuff. Okay, here we go. Keep exercise. Oh, nice and tall. You ready? We're going to stretch the neck. The two arteries bring the oxygen through the blood to your brain cell. Your brain cell doesn't die. Your brain cell lives longer than you. But if you don't take care of it, they start, right? You don't use it, you lose it. So, but you can bring them back. You can synapses, you can charge them up by learning new things, keep your mind open. So positive mind, you will have positive what? Action. You have positive action, you live longer. All this come together, but it's up to you. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, I call it eight count. Okay, make it a little easier. So lots of neck stretch. I switch a little bit each time. So right side. I'm gonna looking forward and bring my right ear to the right clavicle, reaching this one, because I'm stretching this side. Inhale. Right, with one action, I get equal opposite reaction, stretch the right side. Now I'm gonna rotate my head. You see I contract this opposite. See this side is contract, this side is stretching, center. It's opposite than you think, right? So all conceptions sometimes can be so wrong. You find the truth and nod your head twice. Nod your head, so I'm stretch the back side of the neck. That's not nodding your head, right? Nod your head. Now I'm looking to the northwest, uh, I'm sorry, northeast corner because you is, so think about that. And bring the left ear to the left toe and stretch oblique portion of your neck. I call it upper and mid trap and the right. Okay, so ready? That's it. I'm going to repeat to the left side. Left ear to here. This is one. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, third movement, three. 
Inhale, exhale, repeat to the other side, four. Centers, inhale, always inhale, center. We you know that's your home base. Now you have five. Inhale twice, right? Six. It's left side, so I look at the left side right here to the right big toe. Seven. Other side, eight. Let's repeat from the right side again. Exhale, one. For this right now, we're doing a normal downward breathing, two. Rotate your holly, tummy on the exhale. You breathe in your lung, you don't breathe in your stomach. Your stomach is for food, your belly too for elimination. Exhale, the blood bring the oxygen there. Okay, so you can feel like the conception is so wrong. I'm breathing to your belly, don't breathe in your belly. And exhale, let the blood do it. Okay, now ready, exhale to the left. You're standing tall. Exhale, two. Rotate your head to the left side, three. Rotate to the right side, four. Remember what's next? Exhale, five. Charge up. Memorization is so good. Six. Look to the left, right ear down, seven. Look to the, the right side, which is northeast corner. Left ear goes down, reaching opposite arm and return wiggle it out so that's nice gentle neck stretch you don't want your neck so tight and shoulders up right so it doesn't look like human anymore and yeah two artery bring the oxygen to your brain cell so your brain cell is so happy they don't diminish right they don't die they just check out you don't want to check out so stimulating okay you ready Next one, we're gonna call, we call it spine scanning. Let's turn a little bit. We're gonna use this a lot today for the fortified chi, fortified energy. So inhale, exhale, nod your head. So that's your cervical vertebrae, your neck. Seven cervical vertebrae, exhale, soften the breastbone. Right, so that's thoracic spine, the upper six vertebrae. I'm gonna bend my, bend your knee, the upper arrow, external big and the six pack, okay? Create an arrow. So you open up the next six thoracic vertebrae. So I'm still pointing forward. I'm gonna pull my tummy in gently. I'm gonna open lumbar one. There are five lumbar vertebrae. So tight, open the second one. Hug, softly pull your tummy in to open the third one. So the action is here, pull your tummy in so you can get a stretching. Fourth one, and exhale, scaffold down, okay, don't bring up. And the five and the sequin, that nice big triangle bone. You ready? Now we flex the hip, bend your body halfway, put your hands on the floor. You say, no, that's not possible, it's okay, park here. Or you just hang, but don't let the scaffold go to ear, okay, scaffold stay home. And release one. So now you decompress the spine. Hollow tummy decompress the spine, let the space come back so you will not shrink. Inhale, exhale. Right? People say, I lost half inch my height. Yes, because we're upright, so that's gonna happen easily. So going upside down, deep, decompress spine is really important. Even just right here, you're squatting. If you heal, come on, keep your hands on the floor. It's okay. If you need really tight, you can go down, you can do halfway, okay? You can be here, be here. You just have to do it. You have to do what you can, okay? So now I'm shift way forward. I'm gonna spread my toes out, open my knee. I'm gonna bring my pelvis upright. This is really hard, okay? So it's okay, it's really hard. So it's gonna take me a little time to get there. Look like, look at what Chin is trying to tell me to do, right? Don't stick your toes out like this. You're gonna get that first responder. So, okay, that's not possible. You say, I'll do this. I look like a little frog. Okay, cool. You look like a little frog. Your back straight. So inhale, exhale. I'm gonna push down the right arm and rotate my torso. Not your head. My external oblique rotate. So this hand will peel off. Down again. Push down and Good. I love this. It's not just a rip kit. It only strengthens your feet. Stretch out the knee, okay? If you're up here, 
keep repeating again if you're down there exhale you're going to rotate stay up to the left left externally rotate you to the right just like the neck and return so your body's harmonized all together you we just didn't know and it's okay if i don't know i'm trying to find out when you push down the three points of your feet tummy goes up and then your arm open like a parachute or like a jellyfish so you slowly flow up so you effortless you, your arm feel like cloud you open the body looking forward inhale release the finger wrist rotating the shoulder joint you create a weight chi we call it guardian chi weight chi protecting you so that's your immune system and you walk around with that weight chi the uh, uh, night uh, guardian inhale exhale again push down hollow your tummy and get that sensation like the silk right parachute parachutes made of the silk inhale exhale that's what the, the chinese invention so long ago and release right emperor of the Huang Di, and one day the first emperor and they're watching the silk worm and silk railing they call it right so it's what sometimes the taiji trend um and imitate this the silk worm and spiral the spiral movement to create that cocoon they are inside it's a spiral a cocoon it's a, you you learn so much watch the nature okay not television too but nature is a little better okay get some pressure go outside go outside okay so you ready so that's a spine scanning you ready that's the warm-up for today and so one day we do the basic chicken warm-up another day we'll go the focus one okay so I'm gonna get you ready first a little bit more okay so you're moving the spine with the reverse abdominal breathing so you all know reverse abdominal breathing happens naturally um, fan, hu xi. so what happened when does it happen when you see something uh, surprise good surprise back surprise so I see that I say this many times but it's never hard to repeat right because sometimes it doesn't go in so you go oh my god right that's inhale when you inhale your tummy goes in everything lifted up right because you alert your minds are alert you have to react properly to every situation right can happen to the surgeon can happen to the pilot can happen to a mother with three five kids can happen to a teacher and a whole class right can happen with a computer worker <gasps> can happen to anybody can happen to the chef right so you just happen to everybody will go oh my goodness right I need to solve problem so you want to make your mind come to alert okay so I use that to right warming up my spine the spine fluid that's the fountain of youth it's inside of you don't go out there find it it's not out there it's in here it's in this small universe here we go four cents I'm going to reverse down inhale inner thigh pelvic floor tummy goes in my diaphragm is still going down yours too exhale I'm going to release the pelvic floor diaphragm goes up I softly extend the spine again inhale pelvic floor tummy open the movement and exhale I'm going to root it down to reverse again inhale pelvic floor tummy open the movement the movement is gate of life and the movement is Chinese word and so now I'm softening the spine all right I wake up the fountain of youth your cerebral spinal fluid and exhale okay so that's what you're going to do everything now when when I teach my qigong, qigong I learn all this from my mentor Dr. Yang Junming and uh, and uh, a teacher author martial artist like everything he he even amazing chef <laughs> his his cooking is so amazing so I, I like to get myself involved with great people 
I will learn so much. Okay, so thanks to him, keep me healthy. Because I got a scary, scary time 20 years ago. I had breast cancer. <gasps> right? So you go, oh, all right, so what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, now I say, no sweat, right? I'll take care of myself because if I, if I did something created, I know how to fix it. It's not bad luck, right? It's not your gene. It's nothing. It's nurture. How are you going to nurture this body are more important than be a victim. Never be a victim. It's really not a good place to be. Okay, here we go. So we call the fortified Qigong right now. I'm going to fortify everything to bring myself back alive because I am the owner of this small universe. Okay, ready? Fortified Qigong. We're going to start the first movement. I'm just show your arm first and then we'll pull the spine together. I'm going to cross my arm, turn a little bit. I'm going to cross my both arm in front. Okay, so feel like I'm gather the universe energy, nature's energy from the Mother Earth. Go through me and sharing, communicate, right, the energy. Communicate with the heaven sky. Calm down. One more time. So this is yang. So going so from the yin, express yourself to the yang. Okay, again, gather, communicate, and open, return. Okay, now you can do reverse. So from here, I'm going to collect the yang, feeling the whole, and I bring it down to the yin. Plus, I'm using my back. The back is yang also. Okay, the front is inside. Yin, Y-I-N. This is the yang side, the back muscle strong. So I'm gather, I'm gonna extend, contract the back. I lift the chest up. I go to, ah, beautiful. It doesn't matter what kind of weather, they're all beautiful. Because <laughs> we need all the changes, right? You don't want to every day is 90 degree. It's so boring, right? You want to bring in and, right? Everything changes. Everything has a group. Everything has its what? way of staying alive, right? So it's like even the flower, too much acidity, not enough, right? So pH, they won't grow. The climate is different, you can't grow that, right? It's winter, you don't eat strawberry, it's not out there. So there's so many things, it's not this, it's, it's a good way to discriminate, ding. And it's a good word, so we know what's right and wrong. We're so confused we want, because we want convenience. Okay, I'm gonna stop. So right here, put it all together. Okay, ready, inhale. So I'm gonna, remember, reverse the downward breathing. I'm gonna inner side, pelvic floor, I'm scooping. Okay, you can just do this much. You can go all the way here. You can go all the way down. Push down, give it, connect, communicate to the beautiful, beautiful heaven. Inhale, so grant. The small universe connect with the mother earth and give it to the grand universe, communicate together. Inhale, pelvic floor, tummy in. So get that small universe first. And exhale, open the world, open yourself. Last one. Inhale, like I said, this is fine. So, okay, this is all I can do. Do it. If you don't do it, you will never get better. Now reverse. Inhale, push. Right? I'm sliding, I'm extending my front. I'm not going to my lower back and letting everything pop, right? So I need to know I'm using the back muscle, especially your thoracic spine. So now I'm going to reach them back and go, hallelujah, and bring it down into your world. Now push. I want one more. I love it. And so one more time. I need more to connect yourself, myself, with the grand universe coming up and release down and one more time inhale open your chest the whole every joint is moving and release down okay stay here one arm so spiral spiral open your chest so this is for liver and the gallbladder so the fortified qigong is for the liver and gallbladder health. 
So what happened? Calm down first on the step forward. Right? And inhale. Exhale as you rotate, you open the chest. I'm going to face you a little bit so you can see. And the left side, this left side, I'm going to diagonal, which is the northeast corner. So I'm rotating my torso. And exhale, I'm pushing down. So I open, open the chest, open. So I squeeze this side a little bit. So I massage the and open the spleen his side. Inhale comes this way. And open. So wide side. Again, inhale. Open, 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 open. Again, right side. If you can only hear, there's nothing. There's no problem. It's so good. And exhale. And getting into, right, the essence of the Qigong. Breath, spine. So important. Put together last set. Inhale. Open the chest. Open the spleen. I'm sorry. Open the liver and gallbladder. This side. You will contract the liver gallbladder to open the spleen side. Okay, they work together. And we turn now reverse. Inhale, you're going back. See a nice open. And together, scooping the energy. And come down. Ready? Inhale, come up. Gather all of them. And bring it into your world. And push down and rotate. And bring it to your world. You want all the good things. Sustainable, right? And to help you live long, long, long. Healthy and long, not sick. Inhale, not on the wheelchair, not sick. And they give us that image. They tell you, if you, you're getting old, you're not going to accept. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm old, but I'm functional. And going push down and open. Your body, every single cell knows how to recover and rejuvenate. You have to help it. Inhale goes. And the exhale down. One last time. Then we're going to lunge. Inhale. Remember? All the way. So the emotion of the liver and gallbladder. Guess what? Anger. Opposite anger is patience. Oh, come back center first. So right now. It's so, so much anger out there. No understanding. No patience, right? It's hard. Anger is easy. Happy is easy. Like, I have ice cream, I'm happy. Don't know, that's not happiness. That actually sabotage yourself. So, we're looking things so differently, right? And uh, so, liver, gallbladder, anger, Patience. Patience is something we work on. That's why we're doing this. I want you to be patient with all the movement. Reverse the down the breathing. You say, I never heard that before. You know, so what? You never hear a lot of things before. I never heard that before too. Then I say, that, that has to be wrong. Then I practice, I go, whoa. I can understand reverse the down the breathing. Oh my God, I love reverse the down. Oh my goodness, it really, really makes so, so much more sense. So you go deeper and deeper and deeper, right? Don't, don't block yourself. Okay, you ready? We're going to lunge. So this ankle going diagonal, this ankle aiming to the northeast, this one aiming to northwest. And this one, if you're going back, aiming the southwest. This one, you go back, I mean the south, east. Yes, you have to think. Okay, put everything to your mind, body, breath, and spine work. Bend your knee first. You ready? I'm a lunging. Inhale, scooping. Go all the way out. One. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. Can you see four to five? I'm just really strong. And, and soft at the same time. And exhale. Again, diagonally. 
Why? So you spiral more and diagonally front to diagonally back. So lots of thinking. Northwest corner, center to southeast corner. Northeast corner to the southwest corner. One more time. Going rotate open. This side, last one. Inhale, up, spiral, spiral, open, bend your knee, we reverse. Ready? Southwest corner, leaning back. Rotate the body. Oh my goodness, so strong. Coming forward, lunging forward, put your weight in the right leg, step back. And lunging diagonally. This is south. East corner open. Shift your way forward, take your time, and return. Again, you're lunging into that direction, so your right leg straight. You're looking, you rotate the torso. It's not a back bending, it's lengthening. Again, diagonally, you rotate the torso. Hello, world. Come forward, return again, go. Right, fortify. If you're strong, everything looks clear and positive. And look up. This time, look down. Go. And return. Last one. And this is inhale. Shift your weight. Exhale, release the pelvic floor comes in. Inhale, lift the pelvic floor. All coming, all coming, coming. Rotate. Exhale, going forward, step in. You wiggle up. Nice and tall. <sighs> One more time. Ah, release the spine. Soften the mind. You say, well, okay. I think I kind of like this. I need to practice more and save it and keep repeating and listen more and you start understanding. It, it's really hard to pick something up just like that, unless you really advance, right? You can say, oh, I go, I, rem I remember everything you did today. Anybody? <laughs> so, I remember everything you did today. And uh, sometimes if you have that good training, you might be. But if it's not, most people say, I go home, I don't even remember what you did today in class, right? So gradually say, I'm going to remember a little bit, a little bit, so someday I can practice outside and enjoy the nature. And, right, people are running, but I'm doing this beautiful movement. Celebrate the life. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Finishing up. Cool down. Soften the mind. So warm up and cool down is always the same. Right? So you can like get a nice little closure. So you have ASIS, this bone right here. Tensor fascia lata. Keep breathing. And going to the little glutes first. And come into the sacrum. You bend the knee a little bit so you can really right kind of open them so you can Ah, oh, Chinese say tray bay, tray bay. All the way top, you can go up, so you can go down. So it's okay. We have the grandchildren, right? They are really soft hands. Tray bay, you know, called department in English. And helping the grand grandmother, it feels good. Okay. Nice respect, take care of grandparents, right? Here we go. Big touch. <clears throat> One more inhale, exhale. This is called a relaxation breath. So the breath has a little sigh to it. Sigh is not sad. Sigh is loving yourself, right? If you hug your baby, your cat, whatever you, you love, you go sigh. That's loving. Okay, so ready? So you ready? One more tapping. Back side first, inside the leg, outside the leg, 
coming. Ascending, transfer, descending, colon. I remember triple, triple energizer is so important. Let go the, let go the impurity, let go the negativity, let go. Otherwise, you have no room for positive and growth and all this good stuff. Okay, now chest again. This is your breastbone. Inside your thalamus gland, it creates a visa for your new system. Take care of yourself. And also, a little sigh. Oh. Ah. I hear a lot. This lady, this chin, doesn't stop talking. Not like the chicken I've been doing. No one talks. <laughs> so it's okay. I want you to know the detail. So when you practice by yourself, yes, no one talks. But you have to talk to yourself. You have to know what you're doing, the detail is important. Why? Meaning. The meaningful. Everything is about that deep meaning. You ready? Brush out and up from the kidney down. Inside. You ready? Mother Earth, through you, celebrate with the grand universe. And out. <coughs> Small universe, you. Get the Mother Earth coming energy up and exhale, show the sound. I'm so light. Yeah. Last one. You're so rooting, right? You have to root to be light, just like the tree. The roots are so strong, they wave in the, you don't have to worry, they're falling. And you too. Have a wonderful, fortified life. Thank you so much. Take good care.